Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to Emerge Kenya TV. We hope you are doing well. We are so honored that you could join us. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for always coming back to watch our content, liking, sharing, and leaving us a comment. We encourage you to keep doing that since this helps with YouTube promoting our content and we appreciate it so much. Today guys will be driving on the Kasupa Highway as we show you the multi-billion Nairobi bus rapid transit system that was under construction but has since stalled. The BRT system was being managed by Nairobi Metropolitan Area Transport Authority and was estimated to cost about 5.8 billion Kenya shillings with bus stops being located at Garden City, Safari Park, Roy Sabu, Crayworks, Kahawa Barracks and at Kenyatta University. As you will notice, the fabrication of the bus stops had already started but has since been abandoned. The BRT system on Dika Super Highway was meant to decongest Nairobi's transport system, which is usually populated by low capacity public service vehicles known as Matatus. The BRT system was meant to improve Nairobi's public transport network and also complement the Matatu sector by offering a reliable, secure, affordable and a comfortable system for the commuters. Motorists who wish to use the BRC system along the Kasupa Highway to access the downtown Nairobi area would park their vehicles at the park and ride facilities located just next to Kasarani Stadium. The Nairobi BRT system was going to be a huge deal for reducing the carbon footprint as part of the global efforts to control the climate change since all the high capacity buses were to be electric buses.
the Nairobi BRT system was going to be privately owned, but with the Kenyan government involved in policy making and enforcement. You may have also noticed a few high capacity buses allowed Nairobi as a few private companies have launched the electric buses Roam Limited, Kenya Mpia, City Hopper and East Shadow are some of them that have launched. Guys, we would like to hear your thoughts on the design of this project and if you think it would work or needs to be redesigned. And also we would like to hear your thoughts on why the government would start on such an expensive project and then abandon it. Please let us engage at the comment section. Thank you. We hope that the new Nairobi County Government and also the new National Government will come up with a comprehensive public transport system for millions of Nairobi commuters. Thank you so much for watching, kindly share, like, let us know your views on the BRT system at the comment section and if you're new here, please consider subscribing. And until the next video, have a good one, be safe and cheers. Bye-bye.